Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be dealing a very important problem that most of us have in every single day. Especially if you are someone from the infrastructure background, if you are someone from cloud security background, or you are from networking background. This site that I'm going to be showing you will save a lot of your time, especially if you are not someone who is comfortable using Microsoft Visio or uh, any other network uh, architecture diagram tools, right? So what am I going to be uh, covering is how you can use or leverage the power of AI to create network diagrams with just prompts and you don't need to have sophisticated tools to do it, right? So let us see how to do it. Right, so let me uh, open up this site called Eraser. So this is the website that I'm logging in, eraser.io. And uh, once I log into this site, let me log into my account. Yeah, I'm already logged into my account. I click on the left. Uh, which says new file. I click on new file. It creates a new file, right? And uh, look at this very interesting thing. It says diagram as a code, which means that in case you are using IAAC, right? So you can just put your uh, YAML file here and it will be able to clearly articulate what is your entire network diagram, right? And uh, you have diagram catalog, shape and etc. So I'm just skipping all of it. Right? I'm just saying finish. Now the interesting part here is you have three options here. One is document, both and canvas, right? Let me go to canvas. This is where I'm going to have the AI to help me, right? So here on the bottom, if you notice, it says draw diagram or make a AI diagram, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm clicking on this here. I'm just going to say cloud architecture, right? And here, I'm just going to briefly give a AI prompt. Look at this. Create a cloud architecture diagram. Uh, I'm saying create a AWS cloud architecture diagram where I am going to run a Nessus server on one machine right i'm just gonna give a scenario here let us see how it's coming up with a model for us right i'm saying nessus server on one machine then i'm gonna say snick for source code audit in one server right and i'm gonna say logs coming from 15 Windows machines, 10 Linux machines, 10 uh, Mac machines, and 15 mobile devices. These logs go to our SIEM tool, Splunk or I'm saying I, IBM Curator. And I'm not stopping there. I'm making it a little more complicated so that you can understand how efficient it can operate, right? And I'm also saying I want uh, or uh, I use Power BI for uh, analytics and visualization with MS SQL server on the back end that uh, alien or sorry Q radar is sharing. I'm not stopping there. I'm going to make it a, f a little more complex. I also am using threat intelligence feeds from open source platforms uh, platform that includes both MISP and OpenCTI. 
and there is a SOC analyst team who watch the dashboard in Grafana. Grafana 24 bar 7. Please create a architecture diagram for this. Right? How complicated can it be? Right? We have a Nessus server, we have a SNCC, Nessus server for uh, so, I mean, uh, vulnerability scanning, SNCC for source code auditing. Uh, I'm also saying logs coming from 15 Windows machines, 10 Linux machines, 20 Macintosh machines and 15 mobile devices. All of these logs go to our SAM tool called the IBM Q radar. I also use Power BI for analytics and visualization with the backend server of uh, Q radar. I also am using a threat intelligence feed from open source platform. Wow, it is really a lot. And I'm going to say I also use Amazon uh, SNS service to send email alerts to clients. Right? I, I'm, I'm hoping it can't be more complicated than this, right? Let me click generate. I want you to pay attention of how it is generating, right? Let us see. It's first analyzing it and slowly putting in the right uh, elements that would make the right fit for this requirement. Let's see what it's coming up with. Beautiful. It's first lovely. It's found the SNCC server, Power BI, Nessus server, IBM Q radar, Power BI. It's now making connections. You can clearly see it's articulating connections. Beautiful. Let's see this. It's it's already given a high level input of the whole thing, right? Windows, uh, Windows machines, Linux machines, Mac machines, and uh, mobile devices, all of it is coming to QRadar, the logs are coming to QRadar. SNCC server, again, connected to QRadar for uh, log analysis. Nessus server, again, going to QRadar. From here, Grafana, we have the SOC analyst team looking at the Grafana for dashboards, right? And the best part here is, the MS SQL server is shared by uh, Power BI here for visualization. Uh, and here you have MISP and Threat Intel feeds, right? So mention, I can continue here, mention uh, MISP and OpenCTI have feeds coming and getting stored in local MySQL DB, right? I'm just trying to up update it, right? Let us see what it happens. Wow, that's actually some interesting thing, right? It's the MISP and so OpenCTA is currently having a local DB and it is getting uh, stored in the local MySQL DB, right? And if you notice uh, Amazon SNS for email gateways and everything, if you see, almost all my requirement is sorted, right? If you don't want to have such a complicated input, right? Let me just uh, do this again. I'm going to say a very simple input here. I am just going to say going here again, I am having Nessus as Nessus in my 500 member, um, 500 computer infra with um, Zoho manage engine for patch management and Jira for uh, support ticketing and tracking. Please help with diagram. I'm saying please help with detailed diagram along with flow, flow charts, colors. Let's see what happens now. Let us uh, give it a try. So I'm saying I have Nessus with 50 computers infra 
Zoho Manage Engine for Patch Management, Jira for Support Ticket and Tracking and Help. Lovely. Look at this. This is beautiful. We are actually having computers, those fine computers with patch management as Zoho Manage Engine. The log patch status goes to Jira. Again, computers with vulnerability scanning happening with Nessus, the lo logs of those vulnerabilities go to Jira, the critical high medium rate. And the computers having the supporting tickets, noting how beautiful it is, right? Imagine if you were to use Microsoft Visual to do the same process, how long it's going to take and how complicated it can be, right? I hope AI can actually make our lives a lot easier. And this is one very interesting example of how it can help us on an everyday basis. This has immensely impacted my way of working and it has efficiently optimized my time and how uh, I create network diagrams. So in case you all think that this is a very informative thing for you and if you think someone else would need this information because they are also doing something regularly on a day-to-day -day basis manually, consider sharing and subscribing. Thank you.